Raspberry Pi is currently the most popular microcomputer in the world. Its users are constantly growing, and problems related to this and any other technology will always exist. In this video we will put them together and explain them, because only a person who does nothing does not make mistakes. Let's start. We can start with quite basic mistakes, such as using the wrong power supply. The manufacturer recommends a voltage of 5 volts and an intensity of 2.5 amperes, while a regular charger has these values at most approximate. In my case it provides a slightly smaller power supply, which is why the Raspberry did not want to turn on the system at the beginning. It is worth paying attention to this and purchasing a set with an appropriate power supply. Without moving away from the power supply part, I advise you to be careful with the USB-C port and other parts in this area, which are so delicate that just use a little force and they may break. And repairing some parts may cost almost as much as the board itself because these components are harder to obtain than e.g. RAM or processor. Another very common mistake that you should avoid for the sake of yourself and your wallet is unnecessary overpaying. If we need a Wi-Fi camera for Raspberry, there is no need to buy a compatible one because all you need is a regular camera or phone and a simple Python code. If we plan to manage smart home technology, a cheap version of Raspberry Pico will suffice, or even ESP, which costs much less. Another common mistake that wastes our time is disabling SSH or another file transfer system on the network. Instead of sending files using a pen drive, we can enable SSH, enter the IP address of our device on the computer, and that's it. Another error concerns the maintenance of the equipment, namely the ventilation of the board. If our project will load the Raspberry to such an extent that the processor temperature will be above 80 degrees, we should invest in fans, especially if the board is to operate for a long time. The most most common error when installing extensions or libraries is skipping updates. At least before the planned installation of extensions, we should update our system. The last error in this episode is an error in installing Python libraries. Most of us are used to the simple pip install command, but it doesn't always work on Raspberry. In my case you need to use sudo apt-get install python3 and after the dash the name of the extension. This is the end of the list, write in the comment what I forgot to mention and subscribe for more materials of this type.